Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and uh, today I'd like to talk about how understanding inflammation can help heal chronic injuries. You know, I, was, I spent this morning, uh, I wake up very early to try and find information for the blog, and I got engaged in this one paper that is fairly complex, uh, basically, you know, likely over the head of most physicians that do this kind of work, and certainly for patients. But it was about TNN alpha, TNF alpha and how there was a dual role in activating myofibroblasts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Perhaps the most important thing about the paper, though, was not this minutia on the science side, but how it further supported a concept that I've been discussing with patients for years about uh, how inflammation is so tightly controlled in the body for healing and how inflammation is a two-edged sword. So I can explain that to you by talking about cake batter. I know that sounds a little bit nutty, but uh, bear with me on this one. If we have a cake batter and we put it in a low-level heat oven where the heat is too low, we're going to get unbaked, mushy cake. And if we actually put it in the, the proper heat for not too long, we'll get a cake. So we'll bake ourselves a cake. And if we have it in high heat for way too long, we get a burnt cake. Now, we all understand this uh, because we've experienced it, but really the role of inflammation in the body and healing is pretty much identical to these three different pathways. So now let's substitute our cake uh, analogy with some other information that's more medical. So if we have damaged tissue, and we have low-level chronic inflammation, just like our low-level heat in the oven, we're going to get abnormal healing or our unbaked mushy cake. And if we have high inflammation, but not for too long, we'll actually get healed tissue or a baked cake. And if we have high inflammation for way too long, we're not gonna get healed tissue, we're going to get fibrosis or scarring or our burnt cake. So as you can see here, once we substitute the medical language in, it's really the same type of deal. We can, uh, with proper inflammation for the proper time, get healed tissue. We can uh, get abnormal healing if we have chronic low level inflammation, or we can get scarring and fibrosis if we have high inflammation for way too long. So if we substitute arthritis in here or a medical condition, we can really talk about the same things. If we have low level chronic inflammation, we're going to get bad cartilage cells and that's been talked about on the blog. If we have high inflammation for not too long, then we'll get healed cartilage. And if we have high inflammation for way too long, we're going to get fiber cartilage. So an unbaked cake, uh, an appropriately baked cake, and a burnt cake. And really now we can substitute in some other medical conditions that cause these. So metabolic syndrome, which is high blood pressure, uh, weight gain uh, as you get older in middle age, uh, as well as poor blood sugar control can lead to chronic inflammation, which produces bad cartilage. On the other end of that spectrum, we have microfracture, uh, that type of surgical procedure and uh, white blood cell and red blood cell platelet-rich plasma that can cause high inflammation for way too long and lead to scarring and fiber cartilage. So the upshot here is pretty simple. Inflammation is a two-edged sword. On the one hand, if you apply the right amount for the right time, you get healed tissue. On the other hand, if you apply too little for too long, you get diseased tissue or chronic inflammation causing diseased tissue. And if you apply too much for too long, you get scarred tissue. So one of the things that we've been doing here for years at Regenix is looking at how we control all of this to maximize a patient's outcome. And one of the things, the big research projects we'll be engaged in this year that's privately funded is we'll be looking at how we can individualize this to various patients and actually measure these inflammatory markers and move a joint in the proper direction to avoid either too little chronic inflammation or too much high inflammation for too long. 
So thanks for watching. And again, as you can see, inflammation is indeed a two-edged sword that can either heal you or hurt you depending on how it's managed.